you ever wondered how tall a giraffe is? Or just how big the biggest volcano is? Or maybe even how long your favorite toy is? Well, scientists use measuring all the time to learn more about the things around them. There are many tools that scientists use to help them measure. Tools like rulers or scales or measuring cups. But did you know that you can use almost anything to measure? Hi everyone, my name is Kelly and I'm an early childhood educator at the Museum of Science. And today we'll be using our bodies and some familiar objects from around our house to do some measuring. So for this activity, we'll be measuring our hands. All you'll need are some pieces of paper, something to draw with, so like a crayon, a pencil, or a marker, and some things that you can find around your house. So after you watch this video, have your grown-up help you find something around your house that you can use to measure your hand. Since this will be the unit that we'll be measuring in, we'll want to make sure that it's something that's smaller than our hand, and it's something that we have a few of the exact same of. So maybe something like some paper clips or a small identical toy, like some small blocks, or even a small snack, so like raisins or crackers. I'll be using some goldfish crackers to measure my hand today. Our first step is to trace our hand onto our piece of paper. So I'm gonna put my hand flat down on my paper and take my crayon and go right up against my fingers, all the way around my hand so that I get the whole outline of my hand onto my piece of paper. And don't forget the bottom part too, the trickiest part, but we don't wanna miss it. And there we go. So this is what my hand looked like when I traced it on my piece of paper. What do you think your hand will look like when you trace yours? And next, I wanna find out how long my hand is from the bottom all the way up to the top of the tallest finger on my hand. And to do that, I'll be using my goldfish crackers. So I'm going to put one of my goldfish right down here at the bottom, and then I'll put another one right on top and keep going all the way until I get to the top of the tallest finger on my drawing. So can you help me count the goldfish as we put them down? One goldfish, two goldfish, three goldfish, four goldfish, five goldfish, six goldfish, and seven goldfish. So it took seven goldfish to measure my hand from the bottom all the way up to the top of my tallest finger. So that means that my hand is seven goldfish long. And now that I figured out how many goldfish it takes to measure my hand, I thought it might be fun to measure someone else's hand. Maybe you can measure the hand of someone else who lives in your house. Maybe you can measure a grown-up's hand. So I had someone else who lives in my house trace their hand on a piece of paper, and here it is. What do you think? Is their hand bigger or smaller than my hand? Well, let's take a look at the two hands together. So if it took seven goldfish to measure my hand from the bottom up to the top of the tallest finger, how many goldfish do you think it will take to measure my friend's hand? Do you think it will take more than seven goldfish? Or do you think it will take less than seven goldfish? Well, let's try and find out. Can you help me count the goldfish as we put them down on my friend's hand? One goldfish. Two goldfish. Three goldfish. And four goldfish. So it only took four goldfish to measure my friend's hand from the bottom up to the top of the tallest finger on their hand. So that means that their hand is four goldfish long. What do you think? What was your prediction? Is four goldfish more than seven goldfish or less than seven goldfish? Which hand do you think is longer? Which hand do you think is shorter? There are lots of other activities we can do to try out measuring with our hands too. Maybe we could use another object to measure with. What if we use these blocks instead of the goldfish to measure our hands? Do you think it would take a different number of them? Well, let's see. So I'll put my block right down here next to my goldfish. 
So there's one block, two blocks, and three blocks. So it only took three blocks to measure my friend's hand, but it took four goldfish. Can you think of anything else we can measure besides the length of our hand? What else could we measure? Well, thank you for helping me measure my hand today. And now with your grown-ups help, you can try this activity out with some objects you find around your house. Happy measuring. Throughout this activity, children have the opportunity to practice early math skills like counting and non-standard measuring. Non-standard measuring makes use of common objects like blocks rather than typical tools like rulers or standard units such as inches to help children focus on the concept and process of measuring. In this activity, children also have the opportunity to practice their fine motor skills while manipulating small objects like our goldfish while measuring their hands. Fine motor skills are important later in life for things like holding a pencil or tying shoes.